Hey guys, so in this video I wanted to briefly show you how you can now use the preview features of bit by bit scripts uh, to embed your work or scenes into your own websites through iframes. Uh, and we'll go through first steps. So if you go to the project section of bit by bit, you will see that all of the scripts now have this icon for an eye to open in preview. This button opens up the script itself, and this opens up the script in preview mode, which means that you won't see the editors anymore. You'll just see this 3D scene in full screen. So you can even hit Control Shift F, and you'll enter a total full screen without any browser windows uh, visible. So you can, of course, exit, and you can do that on other uh, public scripts as well, like this one. So you can now open up that one in preview as well. You'll see it loads. Um, and as I said, all of them do this. So whichever you take, we can try maybe this one as well. Let's hit the preview. Okay, so you see that it did open and it's all full screen. Pretty nice. But this opens up also another possibility, and that is you can embed those preview links to an iframe. So you can generate your own websites, and we have an example here in GitHub uh, under App Examples. Here you see that we have React, and we have this iframe link project which you can check out. It's pretty basic. It's just an app.tsx file that has this HTML, which does the trick. This would probably even work if you had a static website with the same code, um, and it would just link your iframes. These two uh, things are the most important here. You see that the source of the iframe is the preview link. So whenever you take that script without the preview, you would go to edit it, and with the preview, you'll go to the full screen variant of the script and see it in the full screen. So this means then that in your own websites, um, you can really do a lot. You can basically uh, embed your views, uh, configure your scripts, and then allow other people to preview them. And interact with your script so that's pretty nice uh, and you see that here I'm using just Babylon assets uh, and the scripts themselves are editable by going here going to edit the script so let's let's run the script let's see how it works and let's update it a little so let's use this city skybox and let's also make the plane rotate just a little bit faster so let's hit play, let's hide it, and you see that now the environment has changed. Let's do this also for another script. So if you go to this iframe app, you can hit the link here. That would allow you to see the contents of the script. So in this case, uh, I'm able to edit those scripts because I'm the author of the scripts. Uh, for, you would need to create your own accounts to do this. But um, I think the principle is clear that you can update the script, uh, hit the play, see the results. So the environment has changed. Let's also make this head rotate a little bit faster. And let's hit play. So now it's rotating, uh, maybe change the direction of the rotation. Okay, so now it's rotating in a different direction. And now um, let's give some time. So autosave happens every 15 seconds in bit by bit. And at some point the scripts refresh. And if you reload this application, you'll see that our changes were just added into the our website. So this is pretty simple and it's quite nice because you can, if your projects are public, you can send those links to other people 
and you will not, they will not be bothered by any kind of components or UI elements from bit by bit. They'll just be able to preview your creation and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thanks. Uh, see you in the next ones. Cheers.